What's up guys, my name's Brandon and Apple just recently released iOS 18.1 beta one. And in this video, I wanted to go a bit deeper with explaining Apple intelligence and the features that are included so far, because it's even better than I initially realized. Now these AI features are limited to the iPhone 15 pro and pro max, but they will also work on the iPhone 16 series, which will be out by the time this iOS 18.1 software update gets released publicly in October. So let's talk about some of these features because I think some of them are game changing. So the first thing we're going to start with Siri because when you think about Apple intelligence, you're going to think about Siri. Now with iOS 18.1 beta one, we do have the new Siri UI. So you can see we have the new Siri full screen UI now instead of the little bubble that we had down in the bottom center beforehand, along with a nice animation and a nice sound. Now you could also double tap the bottom bar to pull up type to Siri. So you just tap down there and it will pull up the animation and you can type to Siri to ask a question. So one thing to note is that this update does not include the smarter Siri 2.0. So Siri will eventually be able to understand personal context and that is coming later this year. So we'll be able to understand when you mention somebody in your contacts or when you mention something in your calendar, it's going to be able to, you know, use Apple intelligence to better understand personal context but that is not here just yet in beta one. Now also Siri will be able to perform actions in applications, including third party applications. Now that's not coming until a later software update after iOS 18.1, but that is something to expect. And of course I will make a video on that when it does get released. Now I said that we do not have the smart Siri 2.0 just yet, but we do have a slightly smarter Siri, at least here in these early betas of iOS 18.1. One. And that's because now Siri can maintain context between requests. So this is nothing new. We've been able to do that in iOS 17, but I've noticed after the third request, this new Apple intelligence, you know, Siri really thrives. So let me show you an example. How long does it take to drive to Yosemite National Park? What's the temperature there? What about the humidity? What about some food places nearby? And that's where the Apple intelligence Siri finally won. And Siri now has Apple's product knowledge and support base. So if you ask your iPhone a question, it will answer it for you instead of sending you to Safari. How do I reset my iPhone? You can see there a nice difference because it gives you step by step. And you can see right below that it does say iPhone user guide. So it's more integrated now. And also Siri will now understand you if you change what you're going to say mid sentence, or if you maybe cough mid sentence, it will understand what you were trying to say. So one of my favorite Apple intelligence features so far is something that's very practical and that is in the email application. So you know when you get an email, you have the subject line and then you have the preview text. So a lot of people, newsletters typically put kind of like clickbait in there as the preview text. So it's nice now that you get a summary and kind of just know what to expect from the email based on what Apple intelligence pulls from the email and it gives you that preview before you even tap to go in to the email. So this is excellent, not only for newsletters, but also if somebody sends you a really long email, it will summarize it before you even go into the email. And then if you tap on the top right hand corner, you have these three dots where you can show or not show priority emails. And here's what that looks like when you get a priority email. So it will have multiple emails up top that Apple intelligence deems as priority. So maybe something related to needing to ship something out, maybe a shipment coming to you, or maybe if somebody, you know, messages you or emails you telling you they need a reply quickly, that could show up as a priority. So that is something new with Apple intelligence, which is also nice. You can turn that off if you would like to, and you'll also get those mail summaries on your lock screen or in your notification center. So here's what that looks like. It will show how many are unread and it will show a summary of what those emails contain. And then if you go into an email, we also have the ability to summarize that email right up top. So if you press on that, it will do its best to summarize the email. So it takes a minute, but you can see it will give you a summary of what that email contains. But it gets even better because now if you go to reply to a message, you will have what's called smart replies. So you'll see 
those pop up right there. And this email asked me if I wanted a red or a carbon fiber case. And you can see it gives me an option. Do I want to choose red or do I want to choose the carbon fiber case? And it also asked me below that if it's okay to ship it out right now. So take a look at what happens if I press on carbon fiber right here. It will draft up an email for me and it will say I prefer the carbon fiber case. And also, yes, please ship it out now. So that is awesome and that will definitely save some time. But those summaries are not just in the mail application, you also get summaries and smart replies in the messages application. So when you go into messages, if you receive multiple unread messages, you will see a summary along with this new little glyph icon right there of what you missed. And here's what that looks like on the lock screen or in your notification center. You can see this contact sent me five messages and here's the summary of those five messages. And then we also have smart reply. So if I go into reply to this message, you'll see that we have this little glowing these two glowing words right here that's because that is the apple intelligence smart replies so those will pop up right here and they're actually pretty accurate so far especially for only being in an early beta but you will be able to smart reply to people easily now as well so one of the biggest additions to apple intelligence are going to be the writing tools so this applies to anywhere where you can write text so whether that be the messages application mail notes wherever you can use the default keyboard you can access the AI writing tools so if you have some text and you go ahead and select that you will see that we have new options down below so we have proofread rewrite those are two quick actions or you can tap on the Apple intelligence icon and it pulls up the full writing tools you know menu here where you can also change the tone to friendly change the tone to professional or change the tone to be more concise and then you can also create a summary create key points, create a list, or create a table based on the text that you've selected. Or if you have data, you could also convert that data into a table. So we're gonna try out some of these real quick. So proofread is something that's similar to what Grammarly does. So this could be potentially, you know, something that's going to make people cancel their Grammarly subscription. So we're gonna go ahead and do the proofreading and see what it says. So we have three changes and you can tap on the arrows to go through it and it tells you why. So this one is a word usage. And then we go to the next one, unnecessary punctuation, and then also capitalization. So you can see what it fixed right there, and then you can just tap on done, and you will be done with that. Or you can revert back by going to use original for that specific one, or you could tap right here to change everything back to the original, and you can go back and forth easily. And you also have a revert button right there. So it makes it easy if you don't necessarily want to include the changes that Apple Intelligence put in there. And then we also have the option to rewrite. So if you do that, it's just going to rewrite write that text so that looks good we'll go ahead and stick to that and then I'll also maybe let's just say I want that to be a little bit more friendly so we could do that and it will change it to be more friendly and you get the point so these AI writing tools are pretty awesome I find them to be very useful especially when I do concise I tend to overwrite sometimes so this helps me make things simpler especially when I'm texting somebody now if you take a look in my control center you'll notice that we have this little glow effect around this notification and that's because we have a new focus mode with Apple intelligence as well and that's called reduce interruptions so this is in your main focus bar by default you do just have to turn it on you can see it will say right there kind of what it does it says limit interruptions to only important notifications and you will get that cool little animation surrounding it when you do get that notification so if you go into your settings and then go down to focus and then go down to reduce interruptions and from here you still have the ability to add or remove people or applications that you either do or do not want to allow notifications from so you can kind of you know overwrite these settings for certain contacts or applications we can also now create a memory movie using Apple intelligence so if you go into the photos application and go down to memories you'll see right here you have the ability to tap on create in the top right or just tap right here where it says describe a memory and you will see this really awesome glowy animation and take a look at what happens once I describe what I want to make the memory movie about so I typed in that I want to see my cat in the winter but no people just him so we're gonna go ahead and create that and take a look at the really cool animation right here so you can see all the different people all the different images you've taken along with some of the descriptions of the people and the places and we just have this amazing animation right here and you can always see the prompt down there as well and it will create that movie for you based on your prompt and you can see it even titled it perfect moments 
over the years, which is awesome. There's also a sound included and you can, it is on mute by default, but you can unmute that if you would like it. And then we even have Apple intelligence in the phone application because we now have the ability to record phone calls and also transcribe those phone calls using AI and it saves directly into the notes application. So here's a demo of what that looks like. So I'm currently on the phone with somebody and if I tap on this icon right here up in the top left hand corner, it will begin recording the phone call and the person on the other line will get a verbal notification that the phone call will be recorded. So we'll tap on that and you can see it will say this call will be recorded. And then after that, you will see that we have the little waveform right here and we get the pop up in notes to take notes on this call. So if you want to add notes to the call, you can do that. You could also end the recording without ending the full phone call. So let's say we want to take notes while in the phone call. So we're taking notes right here inside of the phone call, but it's still being recorded and transcribing that separately. So we'll go ahead and end this call. We're actually just going to end the recording and you'll notice that once we end the phone call or in the recording, whatever one you choose, you can view that saved call. So here's a look at what a real phone call would look like in the notes application after you record it. So you can tap on the transcription down here and it will show local. So that's what you're saying and what the other person on the other line is saying. And you can kind of scroll down all the way down here and see everything that's been said. You also have a summary up top so you can summarize the full conversation, which is great. So that's a pretty accurate summary. And that was about a five minute phone call, I believe. Yeah, a five minute phone call right there. And it transcribed that and it summarized it very nicely. And it also shows a preview of everything right here as well. And this also creates a new album inside of the notes for call recording. And when you go into there, you can see all of your phone call recordings. But just know that when you're doing the phone call recording, the other person will be notified that you are recording them. And then when you play back the phone call recording, you hear both yourself and the person on the other end, not just the other person. So that is just a first look at Apple intelligence in an early beta of iOS 18.1. And there will be more features and more changes to come. So be sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out when I make a video covering the next batch of Apple intelligence features. But if you enjoyed this video and if you think that these features are useful, let me know with a comment down below. And of course, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.